witches. So today we're going to be talking about a topic that I get inboxed a lot about um, and it's it's like adjacent to that. So one of the questions I get asked about the most is like what kind of witch am I? And I want to put out there it is like cool to have a label for your practice but if you don't you don't really need one. Um, a lot of witches find it easier to kind of um, find a label for their practice so that way they can like look for information that like has those key words. Um, but I find that you know especially in the beginning boxing yourself into something um, can be a little bit detrimental to expanding your craft. So if you do pick a label, don't worry, you don't have to stick with it. It's not like, um, you know, a job description or a job title. Um, but today I wanted to talk about the path of a death witch and what that means. So October, we're talking a lot about like death, death work, spirit work, ancestor work, everything that is associated with um, working with the other side. So we've talked about mediumship, we've talked about the Claire senses, we've talked about baneful magic, which we're going to talk about a little bit more in the upcoming week. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I wanted just to talk about a little bit like what a death witch is. If you guys see me looking down, I have my notes on my lap. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to say is a death witch seems like a very scary concept and it's really not as scary as it sounds. A death witch is a witch who generally works with death deities or specifically works with spirits and a lot of their practice centers around working with these death deities or spirits um, in order to enact magic or change. So it is different than necromancy and like dark magic and all of that. Like that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking with somebody who like talking about somebody who um, really does more of the spirit work aspect, but it is someone who um, does work with like death deities like we talked about yesterday. Um, I consider myself a death witch. I work a lot with animal spirits. Um, I can talk about that as well. Um, I also work with three gods who have death associations to one of which is truly like Anubis is a death god. Um, the Morrigan, like I said, is more of like a war goddess. Um, I would say Car like Cardinus or Hearn, um, also kind of has a death aspect to him. And then Hecate, of course, is all about like ghosts and stuff like that. So no, you are not going to raise an army of a death, of the dead if you are a death witch. That is not what I'm talking about. That's not a possible thing. That does not exist within our reality. Um, so no, no zombies are going to be popping up out of the ground when you decide that you are a death witch. That's not what I'm talking about. Um, just to make that clear, because I feel like there's a lot of like negative connotations around it, but that's not really it. Um, a lot of mediums are also death witches. Um, people, there are people who are considered or call themselves or work as um, death doulas. So if you guys don't know, a doula is kind of like a midwife. So my, my aunt actually worked as a like traditional doula. So when I saw that term, I was like, oh, that's so interesting. Um, it might be something that I, I explore in the future, but um, generally death doulas counsel people about like end of life stuff, um, you know, talk about spirituality and just help people kind of transition from, you know, being living into the next life. So I think that's really beautiful. So death witches work with spirits through different mediums. Um, they like they may be a psychic medium, that's kind of funny and ironic, but they also use like tarot, pendulums. Divination is a really um, popular thing to be doing right now around this time, just because we are a little bit more connected to the spirit world. Some witches find this time of the year to be um, a time where it is easier to kind of reach into the veil um, and into contact those who have passed on. Um, they generally focus on honoring um, and healing the sometimes restless dead, um, but they a big part of death witches practices is honoring the dead. So um, that is like the main focus of their practice. Um, they also use items in their practice such as like bones, shells, um, blood, other bodily fluids, saliva, etc. Um, and really a lot of a lot of their work can also be confronting and embracing death as the next step and not the end. You know what I mean? So it's like less of the um, like this is the end of my life and more of this is like just a transitional phase, which we all go through and we go through many, many times in life. Um, even if it's just going from like middle school to high school or high school to college or getting married, moving out of your parents, house, like all of that stuff is a transition or transitionary transitional phase. Words are hard, I'm sorry. Yeah, um, speaking of transitions, today is the day that I, this is like the last day at my desk job and I am now transitioning into being like a part-time professional witch and also doing like a part-time job. So um, I'm really excited about that. Patrons, you'll get the full week of videos on Mondays. I think that's gonna be my new upload day because it's the day I know for sure I have off and I wanna start spending like, I wanna make sure I dedicate the time on the weekends I can or that I have to spending time with my partner, which is very, very important to me. And that's just something that I th feel like I've missed out on a lot in during the year because I did have to like work on the weekends. So now that I don't, A, you guys on Patreon are gonna be getting like way more content. Um, I'm gonna start running some classes through my Patreon. So if you are interested, definitely check it out. It starts at a dollar, so 
yeah um and all sorts of good stuff is gonna be happening so i'm really excited um it is the death of the old me and the birth of the new i'm very <laughs> stoked so anyways my personal practice i do consider myself kind of a death witch i feel like hedge witch is a little bit like like a more apt um like descriptor of my craft but i would consider myself i guess like by what i have talked about today a death witch so again i work with three gods associated with death i work a lot with anubis and he has helped me a lot to kind of come to terms with aging, getting older, um, with living my life in the moment now instead of just like waiting for things to like happen. Um, Hecate has helped me a lot with that as well. And the Morrigan has helped me stand up for myself. So um, I have had a wonderful experience working with gods of death. Um, and I, I just, I think that I really needed to confront my own my own mortality in order to live my life. So um, I've gained a lot of insight and a lot of knowledge. I don't do as much of the spirit working side. It's just not something that calls to me. However, like I was talking about in my ancestor work video, um, I think I will be exploring that a little bit more as, you know, like especially next year, but as the year goes by, uh, definitely we'll be looking into that a little bit more, discover some new paths, some new practices, etc. So that is my little rundown on what a death witch is. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I can give you my perspective. Or if it's more of a private question, you can always send me a DM. Um, I have all of my things linked, so I'm best reached through Instagram or TikTok. Um, or in the comment section, or on Patreon. Like, I'm very accessible. So feel free to ask me questions. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!